Okay, I'm not trying to show you a trick problem. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm just showing you what, you know, what you need to know for algebra, how to look at problems. This really is saying this, a rad x plus one rad x. And so another way to look at this as well would be like this, radical x times a plus one. Okay, and let's do another one. How about a radical n plus b rad n, this is equal to Kind of like this problem here, rad n times the quantity a plus b. Okay, or otherwise you could just leave it like this. Okay, you can just leave this problem this way. And how about 3 rad 7 plus 5 rad 7? That's equal to, well, like radicals again, 3 plus 5 is 8, radical 7. And how about 14? radical 5 plus 2 rad 5 well 14 and 2 16 rad 5's are the same so just rad 5 and how about this one 6 radical 2xy plus 9 rad 2xy okay so 6 and 9 is 15, and the radicals are the same, so just carry the radical over, 2xy. Okay, so now we did addition, now uh, let's do some subtraction. So let me uh, move this up. So what if we have 3 rad 7 minus 2 rad 7? Well, radicals are alike. Okay, so all you do is subtract the coefficients. So in this case here, you're going to have 3 minus 2, which is 1. So this will be 1 rad 7. So you could just write it as rad 7. But remember what I mentioned earlier about invisible ones? Yeah, there, there's a 1 right here. But we just kind of write it as rad 7. Okay. 4 rad 5 minus 6 rad 5. Okay, in this case here, 4 minus 6 is negative 2, negative 2, rad 5. How about a rad x minus rad x? Okay, so basically, kind of like what I did with the last problem. Again, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm trying to show you you know, how to look at certain problems. You can just answer it like this. Th this is basically what it is. You don't really have to change it, but if you factor out the rad x, you'll get a minus 1. Okay? And how about this one? a rad n minus b rad n. Again, kind of like this one, just factor out the, the rad n, and you get a minus b. And how about this? Negative 7 rad xy minus 6 rad xy. Okay, so negative 7 minus 6 is the same as uh, negative 7 plus negative 6. So let me mention something about subtracting numbers. In algebra, when you have a minus b, what you do in algebra really is add the opposite. So it's a plus negative b. Okay, anytime you subtract you're always really adding the opposite. Or in this case here, the proper way to say it is you add the additive inverse. So a minus b is equal to a plus negative b. So in this case here, negative 7 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 13. And since the rads are the same, then we just have radical xy. Okay? And let's see. And how about this one? about negative 2 radical AC minus 7 radical AC. Okay, radicals are the same. Subtract the coefficients. In this case, negative 2 minus 7 is negative 2 plus negative 7. So you can kind of look at it like this if you want to. So that'll give you negative 9. And 
rad AC. Okay, so let's try some multiplication now. I'll actually go over multiplication on another video, but this is kind of recap. But in that one, really, I'm just doing numbers. And this one here, all I'm doing is touching upon you know certain essentials. So 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 is equal to, well, you multiply the coefficients, like I mentioned before. So that'll be 4. And what what's in the radicals you can multiply together. So that'll be root 4. And root 4 really is equal to 2. So it's 4 times 2, which is 8. Now how about 3 root 7 times 4 root 7? Well, 3 times 4 is 12. Root 7 is 49. Another way to see this is 12 root 7 squared. So you remember that I said that the square and the radical sign cancel out when they're both the same. So there's like an invisible 2 here. The index is 2. So this all cancels out. So it's 12 times 7. So in this case here, 12 root 49 is 12 times 7. So that's 12 times 7. And that's going to be equal to 84. All right, how about this? 7 rad x times 2 rad y. OK, so again, multiply the coefficients. 7 and 2 is 14. And rad x times rad y is radical xy. And how about 5 root 5 times 2 root 5 y. So multiply the coefficients first. 5 times 2 is 10. And what's in the radicals are root 5 times root 5y, which is going to be root 25y. Well, this can be written as 10 times root 25 times root y. You see how you can break up uh, a product into two factors here? So this would be equal to 10. 25 really is just 5. Well, radical 25 is just 5. And the y, root y is just you know, rad y. So equal to 10 times 5 is 50 rad y. And another one here, 2 rad 6x times 3 rad 3x is equal to, OK, so 2 times 3 is going to be 6. And 6x times 3x is going to be 18x squared. Actually, let me just make sure you realize this is part of a different problem. OK, so it's equal to 6 rad 18x squared. Well, 18x squared can be broken down like this. First of all, bring down the 6. 9 is the biggest square of 18, right? So 9 and 9 times 2. But we'll write the 2 over here, OK? And x squared, well, x squared, we can just write that over here by itself. So we have the different factors that make 18x squared. So you have 9, x squared, and 2. So in this case here, it's 6. And this 9 turns into a 3. And so this rad x squared, basically, the uh, square cancels with the radical, and you're just left with the x. So that's x. And root 2, 2 is prime, so there's no other factors. So in this case here, it's 6 times 3 times x, which is 18x rad 2. OK, so check out some of the other videos where I do division and um, multiplication. And then you'll check this and then look for some of the other videos that I actually solve equations in, that are using radicals, which are called radical equations. Those basically incorporate everything we're doing in these videos here. So anyway, I hope this helped. And thanks for watching.